snap could put your electric grid to the test. ERCON now confirming demand for electricity is expected to be high, but unlikely to reach demand seen during last year's deadly winter freeze. KPRC2 investigator Robert Arnold is live in the newsroom with a closer look at the concerns. Robert? ERCOT issued an advisory this morning for extreme cold conditions and potential icing starting Wednesday evening and running through Sunday. That advisory, however, was thin on details, but it was listed as a medium priority. However, about 10 minutes ago, ERCOT officials did get back to me and say peak demand is expected to come Friday morning and should be around 68.7 gigawatts. For comparison, right now the current demand in the state is 41.6 gigawatts. And during last February storm, it was up to 77 gigawatts. So demand is expected to fall short of last year's winter storm. Governor Greg Abbott has made repeated assurances the lights will stay on this winter. An ERCOT official said 99% of power plants have complied with newly implemented weatherization rules. Officials with the Texas Railroad Commission, which oversees Texas's energy industry, has not yet implemented similar weatherization rules, but has made similar assurances that natural gas providers will be ready for the cold. Centerpoint Energy did tell us it has also taken several steps to shore up its operations and is ready for the freezing temperatures. Governor Abbott is expected to discuss in more detail what plans are in place to keep the lights on during a news conference tomorrow morning. We'll update you on both KPRC and click2houston.com as soon as that news conference starts. Live in the newsroom, Robert Arnold, KPRC 2 News.